Hello! Uh, this is the end of the month and uh, in this video I would like to demonstrate the uh, status of frame-by-frame -frame animation feature uh, in Synfig, which is developed by our full-time developer Ivan Mahonin. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see how the workflow looks like. Let's uh, import an image. Here it is. And uh, you can see that the image is imported as a solid group, which we can transform, scale, rotate, and move. OK, let's undo. Uh, generally, user sh uh, shouldn't care what is inside of this group, but if we will unwrap it, we will see that the real image is uh, resides inside of it. Let's uh, well, let's keep it closed for the moment. So, what we should do next? Let's uh, let's uh, go a few frames ahead and uh, click right click on the uh, this switch group and uh, choose make new frame this creates a new frame which we can paint uh, let's create something like this I don't know what it is, but uh, you see we can paint on the image uh, even if the group is selected. Uh, the, the painting automatically translated to currently active image. Uh, so I have only uh, one brush available at the moment and I have no eraser, so I cannot give you a real example of frame-by-frame -frame animation, just a simple one, please bear with it. Uh, well, anyway, let's get back to our topic. So we have two frames now, first one and second one. Now we can move time cursor ahead a little bit again, click make new frame, which creates another image which is independent from previous one and we can continue painting on it. So you see this image and this image. Next we just repeat the procedure and let's go ahead make new frame. Uh, obviously we need to uh, make some K binding for this very useful action. For now, we have no K binding, but we have a shortcut, keyboard shortcut for uh, moving time cursor ahead, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, of course, okay. like that. Of course we can get back to previous frame and edit it as well. Okay. And uh, let's make this dark circle appearing a little bit faster. So let's complete it at this frame. So this is how it works. Now we can hit preview. Yes. And uh, have an animation which we just produced uh, using the all the um, feature, frame by frame features which we have now. Uh, well, let's 
all what we have at the moment. Uh, this is already something. Ah, yeah. And uh, you can see there are a lot of image layers were created when we have uh, clicked uh, on the make new frame action. Uh, let me demonstrate how it really works with the uh, switch group expanded now. Uh, this time it will be expanded and we will see what happening. At the moment we have uh, music PR um, no, uh, 06 uh, image available um, active. So when we click uh, make new frame, it creates a copy of current frame 07, which automatically becomes active. So let's make something... I don't know what it is. Okay. And the best thing is uh, that we can uh, duplicate keyframes. We can uh, uh, use existing keyframes uh, and uh, uh, make uh, our well um, our animation well backwards for example we can or we can make it faster let's uh, duplicate this keyframe here and this here like this so it will disappear a little bit faster and now it's completely disappeared so this dark cloud just disappeared like this uh, and uh, one more thing uh, what you probably notice it is that when I have duplicated uh, all those waypoints it doesn't create it a new images, which means that uh, this frame is linked with this one frame, and this frame is linked with this one. So if I'll edit it in any place, it uh, will be edited automatically in another. Uh, of course, this could be a great advantage. And of course, if we don't like this, we can uh, easily override it by uh, clicking, right clicking and choosing make new frame, which actually makes a new image disconnected from the current one. So if we will draw here, this one isn't modified modified so we can reuse frames if we want and we can create new ones and edit them and I think this system is uh, pretty much flexible uh, well of course we still need to add uh, a interface to choose the brushes and uh, the brushes most probably will be imported from my paint so you can reuse uh, the same brushes your favorite ones and uh, um, there are still some bugs within this implementation to fix uh, and uh, it's well for example uh, the transformation of uh, the, the painting isn't uh, really works well, doesn't work as expected for transformed images for now. So, um, saving is not very stable as well. 
uh, and all these things should be fixed in the future. But anyway, the workflow which I just demonstrated uh, is already very good uh, proof and sneak peek uh, of uh, how the frame by frame uh, animation will be implemented in Synfig and how it will work. That's all for today and thank you and goodbye.